Like, comment, share. Good morning, everyone. It's Alex, and this is the day after. Uh, it's the day after we've gotten our uh, Blackstone Riddle, and I'm getting ready to start the seasoning process here. It's cold outside, so my wife's at the store getting some things, and so um, I need to season this up. So I think what I'll do is I'll start to season this with some of this canola oil that I did on the Lone Star Girls uh, IVS out there that we have here. We also have some grapeseed oil as well. But what I'm gonna actually start to do is I'm going to start to get the uh, propane tank hooked up to the uh, griddle right now. Here's the, here's the Blackstone here. It's a nice cool day out here today, actually. Um, our fence is down. Uh, we had a big storm here last week. I might post a few photos of that too. My other neighbor though, he he kind of jimmy rigged our fence over there and bless his heart. So, yeah. on high so that we can dry out this griddle here. I don't know if you can tell but I can tell that it's starting to change color here. And so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off and start spraying her down with the canola oil here. Got this butter pan here. Start spraying this bad boy. next morning all right so <clears throat> we're going to continue to season this griddle it's got a nice little dark color but I want to get it a little bit better and I'm not liking this uh, I want to do a little bit more on this here so I'm gonna we're gonna start part two of the seasoning process here this time I've got the Blackstone griddle um, 
they're not blackstone, but I've got some griddle, uh, uh, griddle air, air, air blockers, I guess you would call them. I've got those here on the sides and in the back to keep the wind down if it gets windy out here. So turn this on the high. Came right on there. And what I did was I went ahead and got some of this Blackstone cast iron seasoner. I've got my scrape tool here. I'm gonna scrape off some of that. That's from the, the chicken that I did there. And once that starts to smoke on there, then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and start applying this uh, grill grate uh, conditioner and seasoner. I got two things of it just in case, so this griddle's really starting to smoke up now. So I think what I'll do is go ahead and start this, uh, start, start to get this seasoning on here. I've got a rag here that I use for this. And what I'll do is I'll start to apply this stuff here on there and go and uh, get it right around. I mean, it's really, really smoking up. So it's burning off that old grease that was on there before. So the old seasoning on that was on there before. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the first coat on there. I should have led with the Blackstone seasoning right away. This is just, just after the first treatment. Look at that. I mean, that's really in there. It, it's, man. Wow, I should just live with that. Set all those oils. This is after the th this is after the third session of me putting down the conditioner. You can see it's very dark now. And it Blackstone grill conditioner and seasoner. It, it it's pretty good. Now the only thing that I would say is get you some uh get yourself some um high heat uh <laughs> get yourself some high heat stuff oh and these these side covers here for wind these make a huge difference i mean there's no wind out here right now so but still i mean this this griddle is putting off some some definite heat i mean i'm it's like I'm standing next to a fire. <laughs> it's pretty warm here. So, all right, so this is the last seasoning round here that I'm gonna do. I think I did four of them so far. So, yeah, this will be the last one. It'd be nice to get that corner over there, but I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty doggone seasoned. The rest of it's nice and dark. The rest of it's nice and dark. I'm ready. I'm gonna turn the flash on too so you can see this here. Nice shiny seasoning on this blackstone grid on. I couldn't get that corner, but it said that the corners will start to even out when you start to cook on it. Nice and dark. Nice and dark. Alright, so we've got here some bacon sausage, some onion, some bell pepper, some eggs, a little bit of oil, and some water. We got some pepper. We're not gonna put any salt in this because this, the bacon and the sausage is plenty salted. So we're gonna, when my wife arrives home, we're gonna put all of that on the Blackstone. Uh, we'll do the bell peppers first, then the onions and then the meats and then the eggs last. So stick with us. Here you can see our nice and seasoned Blackstone griddle. Oh man, I mean, that's like really slick. Really, really slick. Really, really slick. So um, we're gonna go ahead and get her fired up. The wife's almost home. So as always, let's turn on the gas. Turn the burners on to low. So 
we know they've started in there. We're gonna get some four zone cooking going on here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to turn this one on high, turn this one on medium, turn this one on low. We actually will turn that one off. So it's gonna get some four zone cooking going on here. Zone one will be the hot stuff here. We'll cook it from here and move it over when we're done. Mm-hmm. 